Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the second week of December. So December 7th through the 13th, we're just going to see what comes up. So what do we have for Aquarius for the second week of December? This is an overall energy. We are going to take it. Discovery. Discovery. So you're going to be discovering something this week. It's pretty clear. You're going to discover something. Looks like it's shiny by the looks of things. May even pay off. You know, it looks like you're going to find something that you were looking for by the looks of things. We are going to read that card. I don't like the way this book is set up. It's difficult. Oh, my goodness. Can't find it. Can't find it. Everything that happens is part of this reason. Oh, just found it. So, yeah, every, everything that happens during a reading is part of the reading. All right. Unexpected happy developments. A man is mining for gold. He has been panning and searching for quite some time. But despite its, his diligent work, he has not found the treasure that has, lain be, that has lain beyond his reach until now. Get ready. A time of discovery is opening up for you. New ideas and new energy will help to bring forth a goal you've been working on. Although there may be more painstaking work involved, this card is telling you that a positive resolution is at hand. Keep your eyes and your mind open for you may actually stumble on an unexpected discovery or idea that brings great value to your life. Many options can lead you in exciting directions. You may be introduced to someone who resonates with your heart, a job offer may come your way, or you may come across a book, video, or spiritual practice that is helping in your daily life or business. This is a very auspicious time. New ideas, information, and exciting new connections are vibrating all around you. A gold mine of discovery awaits. So yeah, you're about to you're about to receive something really 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 good. There's been a delay, but I feel like the delay is just about over. You're about to reap some sort of reward. You're very skilled at whatever you do, and I feel like you have uh you know, since you've become so skilled at whatever you do, you, you've you earned this. You've earned some sort of uh, gift or whatever. You, It's time. It's like winning the lottery, you know. So what do we got? One card for Aquarius, please. And playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so you may need to be a little bit more playful this week you know flirt have fun and i see you work a lot you focus a lot on that and doing what you do but maybe you should be a little bit more playful you know take a break take a break what do we have for aquarius for the second week of december You just got it. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is mental turmoil. It is trapped. Stuck. Stuck in some situation. You've been stuck, but I don't think you're going to be stuck much longer. You're about to get exactly what you've been looking for. Um, help even could be arriving, you know. You may be coming to help somebody else as well. You may. You could be the hero here. Um, Eight of Swords. Now, the Eight of Swords is... That could be you, it could be somebody else that's coming out of prison, coming out of a mental prison. Somebody has been in a desperate situation choosing to stay there, but feels as though they are going they are about to find a way out, I think. Page of swords. Now swords cut. 
Um, the Page of Swords is a mild conflict or something like that. It could be some sort of information that comes in. It could also be a person that that comes along and gives you some information that helps you. It helps you to find whatever it is that you're looking for. I don't know if there's some sort of investigation going on or, or spying. There could be some spying going on. Um, I do feel like you're about to find something. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Could be a partner. Could be something about a partner. Um, you could be finding out something about a partner. You've been looking for it. You're going to find out whatever it is. Somebody's been wearing a mask as well. So they haven't been able to see something. You know? There even could be some denial here. So, But this is coming out of denial and seeing something very clearly. Um, a message is coming, okay, with that page of swords. It may not be what you're hoping to hear. Um, you may be trying too hard. Somebody else may be trying too hard. You could be dealing with somebody that is, that is, um, holding you back. I'm just being honest with you. You do have a partnership here that could be very harmonious, um, or is very harmonious. There's, it could, there's, there's definitely peace and harmony and love and unity and togetherness. But I, I feel like, um, there's some sort of information that you are going to receive. You're going to, and it may be about your partner. It may be about your partner. I, I, I just being honest, it could be, it could be, you may be receiving some information about a partner. Um, it may not be what you want to hear because with the Page of Swords, it's it, it's not always, it's not usually happy news, okay? Ooh, King of Pentacles reversed, so... I wonder, you know, I hate to say that, I wonder if you're dealing with somebody who's not loyal. You know, this is disloyal, somebody that's not loyal, somebody that is very shallow, very superficial, um, stingy, corrupt. Uh, you, you definitely could be dealing with somebody that is, a, is a lazy or they're a little disloyal. I mean, the King of Pentacles reverse isn't loyal, okay? They're not responsible. They don't accept responsibility. You know, it feels like we, we are dealing with somebody who, uh, mm, they're unstable. You're dealing with somebody that it's a, it's a, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, this person may, may even have a problem with a child. There could be a child here that is causing problems in a partnership. Uh, somebody is probably not very grounded or they're not, they may not be a very good parent. You know, they may not have good parenting skills. Um, King of Pentacles reversed. That is somebody who is selfish, self-centered, male or female. Um, five of Pentacles reversed. Let's get one more. Nine of Swords. I think your gut has been telling you something about an individual. I do. I think your gut, you, you've been giving deep thought to a relationship. Something has been hidden. You are about to find out. You are definitely about to find something out. There's been something in the way. There's been an obstacle. Somebody's been lying, okay? And I know that I'm changing the story, but the idea of swords is lies, okay? And you may have even been lying to yourself, okay? Um, nine of swords, giving deep thought to a relationship with an individual that doesn't seem very solid. The, re the partnership doesn't seem like it's secure. I feel like there's a connection with this person, but I feel like there's something, there's something going on. There's definitely something going on. I think you're having a hard time sleeping. I think it's plaguing you. I feel like, um, five of pentacles reversed is unhealthy relationship. You're in an unhealthy relationship with somebody. And I feel like uh, you may be hoping for an improvement, but this person is probably not stable. You know, they may have gotten involved with you for financial reasons, you know. 
They were needing some sort of help or, or something like that. They were going through some financial hardship of their own. Um, yeah. Anyhow, if you have been going through financial hardship and you have or have been suffering, I think your finances are going to improve with that discovery card. Um, but anyhow, I feel like you're going to receive some information. If you do some investigation, uh, if you do some digging, you're going to find something out about a partner that you have been either working with or in a relationship with, okay? Whatever. you're gonna f Or a friend. It could be a friend as well. You are going to find out some information. I feel like you've been ignoring it. You've been ignoring the truth, I think, but you've been plagued, right? You you know that something isn't right. You know, it's been causing you a lot of anguish, perhaps. Um, I feel like you, you are dealing with somebody who doesn't have good intentions, and I feel like you feel it. You feel it. Um, and it feels like you've been staying there. You've been staying in this partnership because it's comfortable, you know, it's comfortable. Maybe it. What? Maybe there's some sort of, you know, a fear of being alone, or you know, fear of what everybody will say if you if you if you break free from this situation. I feel like um, you're really having struggling to, to to sleep well at night. Uh, you're dealing. I think there's some, there's disloyalty. I do. I think there's disloyalty here. I feel. I feel like we have somebody that has a wandering eye. Or they, um, I don't know. There's an injustice. Yes, there is. There is. Somebody's been lying. Mm-hmm. They are. They, and they've been getting away with it because you have been allowing it. You've been, you've been just like going with it. You know, it's okay. It's all right. I don't even know that for some of you, there could even be an illit illit uh, you know, another child somewhere, you know, whatever. Not for everybody, but, um, anyhow. Justice reversed. That is a, an argument with no resolution in sight. There could be. There could be. You may not be happy with an outcome. You could be dealing with with uh, somebody that is definitely lying to you. They're treating you unfairly. They don't want to be held accountable for their actions. Uh, they're causing a lot of stress. Or You're very worried. You're very worried about what this person is lying about. You know that there's some sort of lie. and you're, You are going to discover it very, very, very soon. Um, there's some sort of, uh, neglect here. Okay. There's some sort of neglect. Somebody has neglected their responsibilities. They have, they've neglected or they've neglected their commitment. You know, um, they, they, maybe they're breaking the law, you know, maybe they're breaking a contract because, um, well, it seems like they're very self-centered you're dealing with somebody that is very self-centered very very egotistical shallow um this person um is doing something that they should not be doing and you know it you know it um Maybe communicating with somebody. It feels like they're communicating with somebody that um, they're tied to. They're still tied to this person. Could be a previous partner. Or, yeah, they may have even traveled to this person at one time. Um, I just feel that way. Um, five of Pentacles reversed. That is coming out of the darkness something has been hidden it's about there's an injustice that has been hidden the truth is about to be revealed you are about to see something something is going to be shown to you in regards to a partner that you have been dealing with okay this may not this information when it comes out may is a discovery yes it is you are about to discover something that uh, forces you to see something you've you've been you've been ignoring it well you're gonna see it you have to see it you have to see it um, maybe you may even see something on a bank bank statement or a bank account or something like that or a, a, a record of some sort um, a record of account you know you may find something on a record of account that that uh, surprises you um, something to do with money it is something to do with money as oh, I knew that it was 
poor financial decision. Somebody has, wherever they've spent their money, that's going to be a clue. You're going to get a clue, okay, uh, as to where they've spent their money. Um, somebody's made a poor de de choice. They've made a very, very, very poor choice, and they're about to fumble. Okay, they're about to. Get, I feel like they're gonna fumble. They're gonna get caught. You're gonna. You're. You're about to discover something. Somebody's been juggling. They've been playing. You're dealing with a. You're dealing with a player. Okay, I'm sorry, but when you think of juggling, juggling is a game. Okay, so you are dealing with a player. I feel like it's for most of you. It's an Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's what I think. If it's not, it's it could be a Libra. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I, my guess is it's an Earth sign. This person um, may be financially unstable, and they may have been looking for you to, you know, take care of them financially or whatnot, um, or take care of the house, take care of everything, you know. Um, two of Pentacles reversed. That is upheaval, chaos. Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be experiencing some chaos because you're about to discover something um, that that uh, probably makes you upset. Okay, I think you've seen this coming, but you've been in some sort of denial with that Eight of Swords. I think you've been struggling to um, see it for what it is. And I think it's because you have a connection with this person. You know, you may be in love with this person, but whoever you're dealing with is very conniving, very, very clever. We're talking about the King of Pentacles in reverse here. This person is, is very clever and very cunning and very materialistic. Okay, um... Yeah, there could you could also be dealing with somebody who wastes a lot of money, you know, that spends a lot of money, um, and that could cause a fight. I mean, justice reversed can be an argument with no resolution in sight, so be prepared for that. Um, yeah, I feel like you are you are tied to a, a situation that isn't healthy, and you are about to, to discover something about a person that uh, probably causes you to give deep thought to the partnership and whether you want to hang on to it anymore or not. So, that's what I got. Good luck.